Moving over to the receive of the Maxcom 20E, we do have receive, so it'll just be a matter of uh, making sure that's optimum. We've just done the transmitter on this radio and the receive. I, I can't give you the coil numbers because uh, I don't, uh, I can't see what it says on the board. It's the, it's so compact, you know, you can't um, read the screen printed of the legends. So we'll start with the coil there. What what we're going to do is that, 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 and that, and then finish with the detector there. I'll just switch the tone off. It sometimes helps my sign ad meter. Go back on that one. I'm just upsetting the transmitter there. Naughty me. I'll uh, backtrack on those in a second. So it's that, 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 and that. Well, that's 0.3 of a microvolt. 0.25, 0.2. Seems alright. We'll just put that uh, with an S9 signal, which is 100 microvolts. And I'll just put the other camera on so you can see the left hand oscilloscope. As ever, we're looking for the largest possible audio output. I don't think we gained anything there. And whilst we've uh, got S9, we'll see if the meter reads S9. Well, it reads plus 30, but then I've been messing with the controls. Presumably, it's that one there, which it is. And I've just adjusted that one at the back there. There's two. The one towards the rear is the S meter. The one towards the front was the RF meter. Next, we'll make sure the squelch is performing properly. So, switch the signal generator off. Advance the squelch to the threshold. Switch the generator back on. That comes in a treat. Switch the squelch to full on the radio. That comes in at plus 30, that's ideal. And if we needed to adjust the squelch on this radio, then the squelch preset. It's just back there next to the MC3357 IF subsystem chip. It's just there. So we don't need to touch that because it's spot on. And as far as I can see, we've concluded the alignment of that radio. So it's been quite a faff. I've had to change the front panel because of the broken squash control mounting. Then I've had to take the front panel back off again when I realised the meter was internally bent, etc. So um, there we go. And we'll put it on the air and see what happens.